Good morning, bud. Good morning. How you living? I'm good. Oh, How are you? thanks, man. Appreciate that. You're welcome. Double sided. Psh. Professional. Benny, we kicked butt yesterday. We kicked so much butt. Dude, we gotta cut this line. Where it's at, we are happy with. We checked it over and over again. It looks good. And it's ever so slightly curved, so we're not going to have to cut any of these border papers, like, at an angle. Ben's just double-checking the border around the edges over here. He's going to pop the string off, take the stakes out, and start getting ready for that back edge to be concreted. Let's get into the day, bud. Get into the day. So from that corner to the edge of each side is right around 24 feet this one's a little a couple inches less that one's um, a little bit more not anything that's noticeable and it actually just kind of works better with the curve the way that the pavers are laid if we were to shift this back we would have a bunch of sliver cuts just with the way that it's lined up so pulling it back a, a couple inches on this side allowed us to not have any really small cut pieces so this thing's good to get marked just gonna use this red crayon little pencil thing from Home Depot works good it doesn't um, fly away from the blade being on if you're cutting wet it, cut, it stays through the water for a little while as well yep Not too bad, huh? No. Did okay? That's a lot of cutting. Do we do it wet? Honestly, once that sun comes up over there, I bet you it's all gonna go down and then... If it's on the same time regiment yesterday, he didn't, the sprinklers didn't come on till like three o'clock. But that's gonna be a lot of dust, bro. A lot of dust. I think we're gonna have to cut with water, bro. So. Blow all the dust off first? Yep. Well, no, I think we can just freaking. Send it with the water? Yeah. Well, I mean, I'll blow it, dude. I'll blow it. Hey, I'm what? I hear you. I'm with thou.
all the cuts are out of the way. The line looks really good. Well done. So how I want to do this, bro. Oi. Obviously, so you're going to have to cut this piece to meet in with that. And then wherever it meets, we'll just kind of follow this curve and cut this piece. You know what I mean? Get those butted up nice and then just go. And I'll do the same thing on that side and we'll work to the middle. If there's a cut in the middle, we cut the middle. Sorry. <clears throat> I always try to lift these cuts up and put some more material under them because where your blade went through it disturbed the chip stone and it made it sink a little bit so it's always a good practice to pull the cut up put a little bit more chip stone under it and then settle it into place So right here we have a small gap to fit in, but we want to split that up into two different cuts. So we're just going to take it a little bit in half there, like that, and then we'll cut one over here. So I'm just going to pick a spot here. Go cut that. Something you also really want to do when you start making cuts on a border is put the cut a little bit further away from the edge. So we're going to move it down a little bit. Right there is pretty good. Now we're going to mark this with a bit of a gap. You don't want to mark it right on the cut line. You need to give yourself that, that joint.
Now when you do something like this, you don't really want to put them right next to each other. So again, we'll move this down. Give that a bit of a space. Move this one down. Maybe another one. And we'll put this one in. All these joints too, you can play with them up to like a sixteenth of an inch or so and make everything fit exactly how you want it. And I think those gaps on the cuts are a little too tight. I'm going to take one and trim it just a bit more. Now I can shift it over a bit. And there you go. Those two cuts kind of just disappear into the border. And when you go to the corner, everything's nice. Full pieces, or as much of a full piece as you can get. And that's that. Boogers. Put your finger in any of them yet? What? Little paste boogers. Paste boogers? Yeah, from the cuts. Oh, not yet. <laughs> not trying hard enough. Mm -hmm. Hey, honest opinion. Think this relationship's gonna end good? <laughs> well, if it ends, was it good? <laughs> <laughs> Such a good question. If it ends, was it good? <laughs> Stumped. The stump of the day. The That's what we'll call this part of the video, dude. The <laughs> stump of the day. Question you can't answer. <laughs> On today's stump of the day. Yeah. Today's stumper. <laughs> I do you think they're pre-made in the facility? <laughs> a little what more of a that? bend. More, yeah. damn close. Too much. <laughs> All right, so that's good. That'll give us some support. Something like that. I don't typically put rebar in the concrete because it's just not necessary, but because we had to lift this grade up so much that I want to make sure that this back corner stays nice and flat and it doesn't sink. So I'm going to put uh, rebar on the corner as you see there. I'm going to do it on that side. And then I also have this little piece, so I'm probably going to put that over there. That's really good. Just an extra piece of rebar. What else are you gonna do with it? Okay. 
Fevers are almost dry. Oh, why? You can put your trowel right there where you need to start. Hm. That's the consistency you want. All right, so on this back corner here and the back side is a lot more concrete than we would normally use and we would not have it come out that far, especially on an area where you're trying to grow grass. I'm gonna show you in the front a little bit more along the lines of what we do on most patios. It's less concrete and more of a angle so that you can get more soil close to the patio and you have a better chance of growing grass. But on the back side here will not be grass and we want it to be nice and strong. So I'm gonna go around the front and show you guys kind of what I mean about the grass. So when you dig in the trench for the concrete, you wanna make sure you're a few inches away from the bottom of the paver. If you try to dig that trench too close, you can undermine the border and the chip stone will all fall out and make the border paver sink. So you want your trench about three inches away from the edge of the border and you want to make sure you go about two inches deep. That will get you past the chip stone layer so that when you spread your concrete, it holds in all of the, the bedding stone and it, it will prevent the chip stone from washing out. That's the big difference between this this method that I use with an open grade base and sand. The chip stone is a lot more stable and with the concrete on the edge has almost a 0% chance of washing out. Unlike sand, uh, you use sand as a bedding material and then you use plastic edging. The sand is going to wash out and um, seep through the ed uh, gaps of the plastic edging and what happens is the border just sinks in and the plastic ed edging pushes up and that's the most common issue you see in any paver or patio or walkway. All this extra stone is going to get removed and then we'll take that fabric, fold it over to the bottom of the concrete and then put topsoil to about a little bit below the top of the paver. But this patio is ready for polymeric sand. We're thinking we're going to need four to five bags. We got six of them over there to be safe and we're going to try to get it done before the irrigation, Benny. I don't know. 
That cut came out really nice. But we are gonna do that polymeric sand off camera. I have a few videos on my channel if you wanna learn how to. I'll leave a link in the description below for one of those videos. Other than that, it's the same kind of thing. We sweep the poly sand in, tamp it, sweep it again, blow it off, wet it down, good to go. And then the next thing we have to do with this patio is assemble a corner pergola. So that's what's gonna be next until that video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. You know the deal. Say goodbye to Benny. Bye. Till the next one. God bless. Peace. You guys gonna need help with the center beam? Yeah, you need help. Let's do that.